Hello everybody, I'm Tycho Seljo and welcome to a Company of Heroes 2 Shoutcast. I'm really excited about this one uh, because the two players that we have, Zelor and CCRSO3, they are special. CCRSO3 playing as the uh, Soviets up here is the 52nd best Soviet player in the world and the 92nd best German player in the world for 1v1, so that's pretty sweet. But what I'm super excited for is Zelor over here, who you may or may not have heard of, is the number one on the Soviet ladder and the 28th on the German letter. So this guy is a boss. He's Korean. Nobody really knows what his game is, what's up with him, except he's Korean and clearly like tremendous <laughs> at this video game. So I'm excited. He's playing off race, as they say, because he's number one on Soviets, but only like number 28 is Germans, right? So I'm sure he doesn't even know what he's doing. Got his Grenadiers coming out first. And we are on Minx Pocket, which um, I guess got changed in the latest patch, but I haven't seen much changes. I So I haven't really played since the latest patch. I've mostly been watching the uh, Wi-Fi Dies tournament. Um, that's some good stuff. Go check out the casts from Rogers and Pounder and um, the Frontline Network. I'm sure it's on their Twitch channels and probably on their YouTube channels too. Yeah, in fact I saw Rogers uploading some of them today. So those are good. Uh, the finals are pretty good. The semi-finals are really nice. Those are on the Frontline Networks. And I casted, I co-casted a few with Rogers and Pounder, um, the last one, sort of, from the uh, Rogers and Pounder. So if you go to their YouTube channel, you can find some casts with me in there. Um, and here we go. Uh, we got a machine gun out, second from the Germans. And what are the Soviet? Ooh, Soviet's building some sandbags. Interesting. Notice how he places the sandbags at the very edge of the capture point for his fuel. This means that if his opponent uses these sandbags for cover, he's not going to be able to capture uh, the point. And we have, uh, after the two conscripts, a second engineer squad coming out. So probably going to see some clown car spam uh, from the Soviets, or at least some clown car usage, uh, because that's the only reason you would want to get a second engineer so fast. You do need your second engineer to build tier 1, if you haven't already built tier 1. And even if you haven't built, or if you, even if you have built tier 1, it's nice to have a second engineer squad, uh, somebody with a flamethrower to load up in the clown car and repair the clown car if you're... Um, first engineer squad is busy, as his first engineer squad most definitely is. It's fighting some pioneers and gets some lucky kills, and right as Zeeler sees these conscripts show up, uh, he pulls out of there, so, um, hmm, weird that these conscripts would be fighting but not, uh, cappings. No, he just notices that something's up, so, um, CCR left his combat engineers in this fight with these pioneers, even though that's inadvisable at close range, the pioneers are almost always going to win that versus engineers, unless the engineers get lucky. Um, and he did that because he knew he was going to bring his conscripts over. So instead of pulling back and trying to turn it into a more normal fight, he wanted to bait um, Zeeler's pioneers into staying in that fight as long as possible, get as much damage in on them as possible, and keep them committed and close in so that they wouldn't wander off before his uh, conscripts got there. Uh, MG42, nice couple of bursts on the real edge of its uh, sight, catches his engineers, and they're out of there. And that's the first retreat for CCR, plus he's got Tier 1 going up, so it's actually kind of not bad for him. He'll be able to move out with these guys. And then by the time the clown car comes out of here, he'll probably have uh, these engineers reinforced and perhaps even flamethrower it up. Good to go. Uh, we'll have to see, does he pop the flamethrower on these guys or the other guys? Because if he pops the flamethrower on these guys, he has to wait till they reinforce um, and all that stuff. Or if he pops the flamethrowers on these guys, then he has to keep them in tip-top shape until they go into the clown car. I guess he doesn't have to, but that would be better for him if they're good. So we notice he's not upgrading the flamethrower on this engineer squad, so it looks like we're probably going to see it on this engineer squad. You need something demolished? Except, no, he's building a healing station first. Interesting. So I'm sure he'll flamethrower. Yeah, these guys are now flamethrowered. Okay, that makes more sense. Let's swap over to Zeeler, see what's up for him. Just uh, two MGs and two uh, Grandiers right now, but he is, uh, he's built, or he's going up to tier one. Uh, so we'll have to see if he pauses there for scout cars to fight off the uh, clown cars. Oh, look at this. He's got two of his guys behind the green cover and he's still capping. What a boss. Uh, it'd be nice if this guy got the memo and got behind the sandbags, but whatever, right? He's just, he's out here. This guy's like, this guy's too cool to get into cover. I do not need the cover. I'm going to stand out here and I will be the hero of the Reich on my own. Don't tell me to get behind sandbags. I don't get behind Soviet sandbags. They smell like Soviet things, like borscht. I can't say borscht in a German accent, that seems to be a difficult word for me. So the clown car is just like, fuck this, I'm just gonna like drive past and cap this fuel. I don't need to fight. Fighting's for scrubs. You wanna you, I, you wanna see me fight? You know, you go watch another you go watch another game. Okay, I'm not gonna fight, I'm just gonna cap some stuff. 
which is interesting because normally you see this clown car being used to um, flank the MG yeah. and just get a shit ton of damage in on it and kill it. But I guess uh, CCR is scared. He, there are, of course, these two Grenadiers right here, and we have 81 munitions in the bank, so that could be Panzerfaust City on this thing, and then it would die. So uh, CCR just, look, you've taken my fuel. I'm going to take your fuel. I'm even going to link it up with these guys over here. So uh, interesting capping. Uh, so far by both these players. Minx Pocket usually gets pretty stagnant in the middle and then it's fighting over either left or right or it's just a meat grinder in the middle. But instead, both players seem fine to concede uh, their part of the middle, take the opponent's part of the middle, and then encompass each other on the either sides of the map, which is really weird. Also really, well, not really weird, it's just dynamic and interesting and fun. So this map is actually looking better and better, even though I still think it's a shitstorm. So, um, because it's still choke pointy. I guess they widened some stuff, maybe? I'll have to take a look compare this to the old maps. Anyways, um... Also interesting, if you look in the far left and far right corner of the minimap, for example, over here and over here, now the shit is capped, right? Both players have been too busy uh, jockeying for position and fighting and capping and decapping and stuff that they haven't been able to get over there. This is uh, an interesting thing over here. I'm not sure how where that MG was planning on setting up, but that's a real big loss here now for Zealer being pushed off. This MG42 has to go all the way back to base, and Zealer is now going to want to use this scout car to come in and clear himself uh, some space. This is looking really good for him, of course. The first bur burst brings this way down. Not going to Faust, I don't think. He's just going to keep... Nice! Got Only got one kill, so that was a bit unlucky, but then another one goes down almost instantly to the scout car. The scout car recently buffed in the patch, of course, now gets to keep its uh, machine gun when it upgrades the big up gun thing, so... Um, Despite these two engineers with flamethrowers, I think it's going to be time for CC art to be pushed off uh, the field. Oh, nice damage, though, on this uh, s scout car with the flamethrower. Uh, you don't often see that. Flamethrower's not so great at penetrating. But um, this MG42 is back at base, probably going to reinforce soonish. And, um, ow, that was really painful. Lost the flamethrower, too. The flamethrower exploded. And uh, that means they can't... Uh, oh, and this guy's on fire! Look at that! The flames stick around, and he burns. So flames are flames are more realistic and more friendly fiery, I think, uh, in this uh, latest patch now that they can take down... What the motherfuck? That must have been an AT grenade. Is this on cooldown? Yeah, okay, I just didn't see it thrown, but... So nice AT grenade from uh, CCR. It's going to buy him some space for his second clown car to uh, breathe freely, and he does have a second car by the way there's a fight up here oh man it's actually an interesting fight a molotov went in on the mg but this is also an interesting fight these guys pushing them off let's go back up here mg is just holding up against the molotov the second guy this guy who refuses to like be friends with anybody else the fucking loner loser over here is uh really helping this mg42 out because he's not standing the molotov so hooray for uh antisocial dude he's like me and um Wow, really low health on these Grenadiers. They're only going to be good for capping and stuff, because you don't want to get them into a fight. Um, these Panzergrenadiers just, just, just run back and forth across the entire map. Haven't got any kills so far. What, what is, is... Something, something, here comes Ivan. I see, see, I don't... I haven't heard enough words. I haven't played Company Heroes 2 enough to know what everybody says every time anybody says anything. Oh no, run away, little man! So Zealer really being pushed off. Um... Quite, oh no, that was a squad. That was a Grenadier squad, so that was really bad. Uh, but Zealer being pushed off a lot by CCR. CCR doing a really good job of uh, encompassing these uh, Austair forces and getting around them. Maybe gonna see... That was, seemed like either a reload or something on the MG42. It didn't fire continually at this thing, but they did get some good damage in. Plus the Pan... Oh no, Panzer Grenadiers get double roasted. That was a nice set of crits. If this squad goes down, that would be really bad, except it's getting out! Or is he gonna get out? There's fucking trees in the way. Why are trees in this game? Relic, nobody what plays this for trees. You should take a page out of a real-time strategy game with no trees, like... Uh, StarCraft? I don't know. There's some trees in StarCraft. Oh, look at these medics. Oof, only almost kills this thing. And now the base MGs are gonna finish this off. This is a bad move from CCR. I don't know what the fuck he's doing over here. That was a clown car that did not need to die. He got just way too brazen with that. That's unfortunate. Really could have used that clown car. Keeping that alive would have been really helpful. We're not quite into the point of the game where clown cars are useless yet. He is still forcing his opponent to get stuff that counters this, or at least he would if he hadn't just died. And in fact, we do have the counter coming out. The scout car. Zealar forced into buying another scout car because um, CCR was so heavy on the clown cars. And CCR does have another clown car coming and another clown car coming from off map it's being built okay whatever you understand what i'm talking about so uh man pretty pretty standard uh metagame 
stuff right here. He's his grandeur, as I said, couldn't get into a fight, and they got into a fight, and they died. So look at this map, man. Both players crazy with the cap'n. Um, looks like uh, Zealer finally has the upper hand. Doesn't have the his fuel, although CCR has his fuel, but CCR is cut off. So really good job from Zealer getting this cut off. I'm surprised he managed to advance this far with an MG42 and hold it for so long, but that's really paid off for him. Uh, CCR did not have this fuel hooked up until very recently, and if we look at Zealer right now, actually he doesn't have a ton of fuel, but uh, has he tucked up? Yeah, he's up to uh, this thing, battle phase, so uh, he'll be able to build Stugs. Just kidding! He'll be able to build Ausvins and Panzer IVs uh, when he gets around to building uh, that building. So that's where a lot of his fuel has gone, in addition to these scout cars. So, uh, Austria player looking fairly good. Not gonna have to worry, uh, tech-wise about what the Soviets bust out with. All he has to worry about is making sure these clown cars don't overrun him and, uh, fuck shit up. And, by the way, here's another ninja change that was made in the latest patch. This shit over here, these, these commander things, no longer flash like motherfuckers giving you an epilepsy whenever you're trying to, like, just play the game and not choose a commander, okay? They fixed it. That's the greatest. I know Tommy from the Frontline Network was just fucking, like, whining about this all the time, but that's okay. I was whining about it, too. I was right there with him, and it worked. Relic listens to you if you bitch at them, even if they don't admit it, so the lesson here is bitch at Relic just continually. Just say horrible things about them. And, I'm, by the way, I'm, like, way ahead of of everybody else, like, um, it's like, let's be honest, but, um, okay, so, clown car, trying to be useful, but not even upgun, the scout car is able to take it out, these things are just weak, okay, vehicles are weak in Company Heroes too. um, they can go down very quickly, tries to get another burst off with this double vet combat engineer squad, because he was thinking about maybe wiping this MG42 out, but that was not to happen, and he's lucky he got out of there, a penal battalion is an interesting choice from CCR, at this point, he just doesn't want to tech up and build anything. And a sniper, I guess he wasn't feeling it. Uh, here's a grenade. Boom. There's a grenade over here. A rifle grenade took out three conscripts. So that's um, that's pretty brutal. Ugh, CCR really taking some hits. And this is looking better and better for Ziller as time drags on. The only good thing for CCR is that he still has his one clown car intact. Um, did he kill the scout car? Was I not paying any fucking attention? Cause no. Wait. Let's just swap over. Nope, this guy cursed alive. I guess it's driving around somewhere. But this needs repair, so it's off the field for a little while, and he does have a clown car, and he does have flamethrower engineers inside there, and he does have penal battalion ready to go. Um, so he's not destroyed. But uh, looks like Zealer has the upper hand at this point. His map control has been easily as good or better than CCR's the entire time. He's managed to tech up, hasn't dumped quite as much fuel into light vehicles as a. Uh, Zealer, as uh, CCR has, CCR uh, getting a lot of clown cars. That was a misjudged Molotov. Even if these guys got out from behind cover and charged you, they would have gone here, not here. So I don't really know what that was about at all. Here comes the flank. We've got NG Scout Car coming in. Did I say MG Scout Car or NG Scout Car? Like NG? Who, who gives a fuck? I don't know what I said. You don't know what I said. It's a cluster. Oh no! Conscript squad down. So this is looking really nice for Zealer at this point. Just has to make sure that the uh, map control that he's losing now that this thing is pushing him off does not get him owned. This is bad. This thing has not been repaired yet. Could lose it here. Um, it'll put some good damage on the scout car, but the scout car can do likewise. The thing is, you need to angle the scout car such that the front M. Okay. The front MG and the back MG both do really good damage to these things, but it, you can't, obviously can't just drive this around, you need to angle it so the front and the back can shoot, but he did, that thing was low health, I think that was a big mistake I think on Zealer's part, not repairing it, he has his pyos at some, somewhere on the map, and they could have just repaired it, um, that's not good for him, so now this is going to be clown car supremacy at this point, Zeller has to maybe, oh, just kidding, Zeller's teching up to the Panzer IV, so uh, yeah, like I said, looking pretty sweet uh, for Zeller. And um, CCR is nowhere near out of it yet, but um, if I had to call a winner right now, if, like if you burst into my house with a gun and you said, Tygo, call a winner, I'd be like, you're stupid, I've got you on microphone, this is going to be evidence for the police when I say you burst into my house with a gun. And um, that's an entire squad dead. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they dropped their flamethrower for them. So, um, yeah, looking not tremendous for CCR. He's got 160 fuel in the bank, which is nice, and he can still tech up because these engineers are alive and they can build a thing. Who's going to pick up the flamethrower? Okay, makes sense. The pioneers now have... Is that a double flamethrower do they have? No, it's just a single flamethrower. 
Can you? You can't get a double flamethrower on pioneers, I don't think. We are builders, not killers. Why are they shooting at us? Meanwhile, turn on the flamethrower and roast them all. <laughs> yeah, you're builders, not killers. Yeah, right. You have double vet from killing people. Actually, mostly from getting killed. Just as I had them selected, it looked like they didn't have anything. So, okay, so the Panzer IV has revealed itself. This has forced a doctrine choice from the Soviets. Notice he had not chosen a doctrine until the Panzer IV came out. And, uh, weirdly, his oh shit doctrine was not one with guard's rifle. So typically when a vehicle comes out and you're like, oh shit, is Soviets and you choose a doctrine, uh, that means you choose a guard's rifle doctrine, because they will shut down those vehicles. If you watched my previous shoutcast before the previous shoutcast, you saw a fucking guard's rifle taking on elephants. That was a what the hell? What the hell? That was a satchel charge! No, oh, what the hell? God! Everything is dead! That's bundle grenade! Killed the conscripts, the penal battalions down and drops those flamethrower. The satchel charge killed like every fucking infantryman, but they didn't get any squads. Took like half the health of the Panzer IV. Jesus Christ. This is bloody and brutal. Ugh. That's as many people die in like one second in a total war game. But it matters here. That was crazy. Um, Zeller came out ahead in that, he killed two squads. But it's uh, tough to argue that that was a badass satchel charge, because it was a badass satchel charge, and this Panzer IV does have to pull out. Um, we bought a thing. A KV-8! We bought a thing! No! Motherfucker! Roast an MG-42 right as it comes- It's got three kills already! These things are beasts, by the way, versus infantry. It's just- it's ridiculous. How that guy survived- he didn't survive. He is survived. He ran through it. Whatever. So... That's uh, that's an interesting thing. Is he gonna? What's he gonna do versus the Panzer IV? I can't wait to see. I cannot wait to see. So here's the KV-8 flamethrower tank. By the way, uh, 360 manpower and 135 fuel. So as you can tell, it's incredibly fuel heavy. These guys are just tanking for the tank. They're just gonna hang out here until this thing shows up and roast them. It's pushing. What is it pushing? A fragment of some thing, and now this MG42 is like, oh shit. Look at this flamethrower! It look at this flamethrower! Look at this. You know what? Okay, well, it's pack 40. Oof! Oof! That's painful. That's oh god! He's killing everybody. This could actually be good. CC Art doesn't have shit all to deal with the Panzer IV, but who cares? It's up here, not even repaired. Meanwhile, he's gonna kill literally all the infantry if he keeps this up. Um, Oster just has to evacuate. Oh, fuck! Get out! Get that! Get out! Pork chop sandwiches, we're all gonna die! Get the fuck out! Oh, man. This is, um, so... Oster's probably having a heart attack at this point. He's like, what am I gonna do? I'm, I need to use my pack 40 and my tank, but these, sh these are shot blockers for tanks. And, uh, that means it's gonna be very little trouble for the Soviet just to roast down at least one of these buildings. This is by far the most important. You get down tier 3 and that's the end for the tanks for a while from the Oster. I'm just... I'm still feeling pretty good, I think, about Zeller. Like, as long as he deals with his KVA somehow, and I don't... Like, it shouldn't be too bad. He's got a Panzer IV and even a Pac-40. Um... Shouldn't be bad, but meanwhile, I should have been paying attention out here. Good infantry usage, recruiting the MG42 is forcing the Oster players' infantry back to their base, at which point they just get turned into barbecued Oster and even Faust this thing, because he's got to do that. Um, oh no, he's calling in artillery! What is. He's, CCR, what is it? It's incendiary. Okay, so it's not going to be huge damage, but it is going to annoy the Pac 40, and that was a really nice first rocket came down in on the pack 40 uh the rest not a big deal the question is is the uh panzer 4 gonna be able to kill this thing in time this is still oh man it's got like one burst left he's got to he's got to keep this alive he needs his second panzer 4 out from this thing kv8 is moving back it's killing the panzer 4 is it i don't know it seems i feel like the kv8 is not very good against tanks but maybe maybe it is it killed the Panzer IV! Oh no! Oh no! It's, look, it's another switcheroo. Wait, no it's not. He's got the MG4. This is just a nuts match. I can't even pay attention to the infantry. I have no idea how the players are microing this stuff. These guys are leaving base probably because they had to leave base to upgrade the Panzer Shrex. It got abandoned! Ah, the Pac-40 made it abandoned and this thing is dead. He doesn't have any Panzer IVs. 
Oh, God. He doesn't have any vehicles, but he can recruit this, and he's got to repair it real fast. That'll be what it... Like, oh, talk about a comeback. You get your own KVA as the Austere. You are set to go. Plus, he's got these things. Um, they're going to fight against this other KVA. Actually, Shrek's not tremendous against KV-8s, unfortunately, because they do have to stand still to fire. KV-8 with its flamethrower makes them move around a lot. If it doesn't make them move around a lot, um, they uh, end up getting crushed. That was a nice couple of Shreks, but a uh, nice try. So, wow, this game is nuts off the easy. And uh, look, see, Panzer Shrek's not a huge amount of damage either to KV-8. Um, if you get rear or side hits, it's pretty... Oh, no! Oh, no! See, this is why! And then that's the worst thing about Shreks versus kv When you eventually hit the retreat, they just chase you and potentially roast you. So, goddamn, this is uh, nuts. And the Oster player finally chooses a Doctrine. All the pros never choose a Doctrine as the Oster. Pack 40's trying to get something done. It's got Vet 1 with zero kills. That's funny. Uh, nope, not happening. How is this? It's not even recruited yet. He's repairing it before recruiting it. That's a new thing you can do in the patch. Does CC Art see what is going on? No, he has no idea. He probably knows he got decrewed, but uh, doesn't know what to do about it. This flames is just annoying. And here it happened. Here it comes. He's going to flame the repairing. Oh, he hops in instantly. That's a really good choice because you'll take super damage from flamethrowers and anything while repairing. Look at the weird icon on this thing. It looks like the Upgun Scout car. Um, that's, uh, that's a bog relic. Um, but now, oh man, really good hits from the recruit thing. He's trying to roast down the infantry. This might be a mistake on CCR's part, but he does need to get these Shreks down is what he's thinking. One Shrek goes in and hits. Now that they've retreated, they're probably going to have nowhere to go. They need to pull back so they can start Shreking. No, they're all getting flamed out. Oh, one more Shrek hit, and this thing is going to get fucked. You need to reinforce, get around, yes, get around the building so you can reinforce yourself. And then once you're back at more, more health, start shooting, shooting some shooting some shreks we have man what is going on oh no the shrek squad is dead oh, they're still alive they reinforced just be oh now they're dead they dropped a shrek though so these other panzer grins need to pick up the show the pack 40 has been recruited it's getting some hits on the rear and the kv8 is getting some hits it's out of control it's going in it's not abandoned it's destroyed but that's all right he's already got this one what jesus oh boy man i just been casting a crazy series of games lately uh, this is good shit. I don't even know who's gonna win now. You want to call it for the Austere because they've got an 8 KV-8? No, because the Soviets just you can just call one in once they got their fuel, which is gonna be a while. No, I'm just kidding. It's gonna be in two. One, two, click. Nope. Click. Nope. Click, 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 click. Come on, let's have it. What are you waiting for? What are you saving up for? What are you microwing? You microwing these guys? I don't know. Not well enough if you were microwing them because you just ran straight into uh, um, grenades. So Vet 2 engineers are uh, resilient, but not so much versus LMG Vet 2 uh, grenadiers. Why are you not buying anything? Does he have... He hasn't teched up at all, so he, he's potentially... The only reason I can think of the Soviet not buying anything right now is that he's wondering... He's Either he's going to tech up, he's going to build a higher tech building, or he's thinking about teching up and doesn't want to commit the resources one way or another. Um, do the Germans paint any German slogans on these things when they recruit them? No. But they do paint a sweet-ass gazelle. Or whatever, an elk. <laughs> I like how they take the time to paint an elk on the thing they recruit. And he calls in a KV-8. Um, so this... Man, the table has turned. The shoe is on the other foot. I have... The, the flamer has become the flamed. Oh man, that was a really good AT grenade. The flamer has become the flamed. And I am now running roughshod over the very lines that you captured from me when you used this very KV-8. What is that? Incendiary artillery barrage. Where is you calling that in? On here. Clever. We see the flares just now, but that's a bug. Um, they came in much earlier. And this will buy him crucial time to not capture this because it's OP'd. Um, oh, kv 8s passing in the wind. They don't see each other, I think. Oh, this is pulling a 180. Nope, no, it's not. What is going on? this game and vet 2 look at that huge damage in all these conscripts these vet 2 people might win this fight six on one uh, six on two and they they are just owning face they're up to vet three i think they're gonna win yes they are gonna win they gave vet one of these conscripts for owning them so much and they're just that was amazing do not doubt the grenadiers grenadiers are boss meanwhile the kv8s it's um a huge mistake i think from zealer sending this thing in to die this is your uh this was his ticket to winning i think he wanted 
I don't know what he was thinking. Sometimes you get in this mentality, you're like, oh, it's free! I'll use it for anything! No, don't use it for anything. Use it like you paid for it. I don't like how they don't shoot flames at each other. Who died? Soviet's just losing a lot of infantry. He's down to three infantry squads, one of which is a captured MG42, but... Um, so it would be cool if these two things flamed each other. This has fired like 18 times. They can't penetrate each other! Mirror matches! Hello! Ah, this is the funniest thing! Look at this! And an AT grenade tries to fuck it up. That can't penetrate. Finally, he gets a kill. That's just hilarious. And this thing has the upgun of the German scout car. What is going on in this game? And we have shock troops called in. Because he doesn't have any infantry. Oh my god. Um, so I think big mistake from Zealer throwing away that KV-8. He needed to repair that. And there, this is going to be a grenade. Nice dodge. This, uh, so yeah, throwing that, uh, KV-8 away was really unfortunate. Uh, these two Panzer Grenadiers with the SDG-44 are doing good damage, but not great damage. Maybe gonna get flamethrower down. The problem is he needs th Oh, that was a Shrek hit! I was gonna say he needs three or more people in the squad to do anti-infantry, because the rest have Shreks, but you get a lucky hit with a Shrek, people just explode. By the way, I've yet to try the attack ground thing with Shreks, which I think would work against infantry. But, you know, uh, there's always time. So, did he buy another shock troop squad? No, the shock troop squad just went where he called it in, and so then they say, we're good to go. So he calls in another KV-8. This is, uh, it's KV Central, and I think now CCR is going to be able to pull this off. What's the resource situation like for Brazil? He's got a lot of fuel, so he could tech up again. Oh, no, he doesn't need to tech up again. He's got his tier three, tier two, whatever, tier four, I don't know what this is called, and uh, he'll be able to buy a Panzer IV if he wants it. Hmm. Nice packet in on the front. Now we have Shreks too, so they need to not run forward. They can upgrade Shreks? How is that? They didn't change it in the patch so you can upgrade Shreks one at a time, did they? I think it's just because they picked it up. This would be a three Shrek. No, it's quick. Ah, they changed it! You can now buy Panzer Shreks one at a time. Was that in the patch notes? That wasn't in the patch notes, was it? Maybe it was. People are going to yell at me because I'm a noob. I'm not a noob, the proper word is newbie, okay? I'm a newbie. I'm not. I'm actually, having not played this game like ever, I'm ranked like 300 something as Soviets, which is, er, yeah, as Soviets, which is, I think, pretty good for somebody who like, hasn't played for like weeks. Um, I'm just tooting my own horn, because I'm so amazing. Okay, so you can upgrade Panzer Shrek's now one at a time, so that makes Panzer Graders a lot better. And you call him an elephant. Oh my god. Oh my god, this game. This is a good game. <laughs> These are good players playing a good game. We have an elephant coming in. The KV-8 is going to be fucked versus the elephant. The KV-8 can't even penetrate in KV-8. We've seen this happen. And uh, it can destroy trees, but not too much else. So still really good map control from CCR. Zealer is totally in this. Uh, can't wait to see what's going to happen when these two things meet each other. Zealer no sight yet. Uh, hasn't upgraded the spotting scope. Doesn't have the munis. Um, oh, here it happens. Here it goes. Here we go. It's... I like how it uses its flamethrower on the elephant, but not, like, on enemy other enemy tanks. I don't know what the fuck is up with that. Um, he's like, oh, time to get as much damage in on this as I can before the elephant destroys me. If I can get this Vet 3 Gren Squad, that'll be good. Um, oh, no! The Vet 3 Gren Squad is dead! This is just painful. It's a, And he's killing the medic thing, destroy, and whoa, look at the elephant damage to the back with that thing. Oh, God. Oh boy, that's... Oh, and he gets this thing! No more Grenadiers, by the way. That's the end of Grenadiers. And... Did he just call in artillery? No. This is dead. Out of control. That was the lamest out of control in the history of Company Heroes history. And... Vet 3 Panzergrens. I don't know what they were waiting for. Mortar. Wow. Now I've seen everything. Unit-wise built in this game. No snipers. So, now the elephant's out, what is Z, what is CCR gonna do against that? Just try and cap, I guess, uh, stuff all over the map. Try not to get into fights with the elephant. If you don't have any vehicles up, he's got a KV-8. I think I already knew that. But if you don't have, oof, this, uh, this MG is doing pretty well versus the mortar. It's the fight of the- that was some really good crits, by the way, from these riflemen on this thing. Look at how much health they took out the health bar, uh, just from a little 
crew members on the MG42. Isn't it nice to have six crew members? That's like a squad plus an MG42. Pretty sweet to be Soviets, huh? Pretty sweet. Um, what is this? Exit focus site. Okay. Here comes the KV-8. Does Zeller know? Yeah, now he knows. Now he knows. Here comes the elephant. Retarget. These guys have to get out. It's a flamethrower versus flamethrower battle. I think I can tell you who's going to win. What is the pack 4 you doing? Don't go over there. My voice hurts. This is too exciting. My throat hurts. My voice is fine. That was a weird miss. What's he doing? Base rush? Huh? Oh, that was half its health! I need to stop yelling. My throat hurts. That was half its health. That was... This is... Oh, boy. So, Zedler, or, uh, CCR has the entire map. He's got really good damage to these infantry. He's coming in with the flames. Uh, the flame artillery to kill this thing. Uh, that guy's on fire. That... Artillery doesn't catch anybody except maybe the mortar. He'll figure it. And he can't move up because he's afraid he'll get elephanted. Oh, he's gonna get shrecked. Gonna get... They already have Vet 3. Man, they don't need the Vet. Don't let them get the kill. 23 kills. That's boss. This could be the first tank kill. So... Don't know if that was the best use of the KV. He already seen the elephant, so... Um... He could have just tried to be more cautious with it, but I don't know. Um, uh, I gotta stop yelling. My throat, it hurts so badly. I don't have any drinks next to me. I have, for weird reasons, I have a salt shaker next to me. I guess I could try eating some salt. See if that would help. It wouldn't. I can actually predict right now that just gar like scarfing down salt would not improve matters at all. Ugh. Really well played by both players, I think. Um, some bizarre shit, but um, CC Art, he he really held out against that Panzer IV. That Panzer IV came out, and I thought he was in huge trouble. All he could rely on was his KV-8, and he just made it work. Um, so that was really impressive, and from there he just clawed his way back, took the whole map. And uh, we have a scout car out, we see, from the <laughs> from the Oster, who's running low on options at this point. Um, Need something fast enough to get out there on the map and start taking stuff. We have three, four, Mao, oh, I almost yelled again. It hurts. We have four fuel OPs from the Soviets. His uh, fuel income is at 54. Plus 54 a minute. That means every minute he could bank 54 fuel and then not spend it on anything. Isn't that impressive? I think it's pretty impressive. So this six-man squad has been doing... Um, Good damage to the scout car, even though it hasn't been using its machine gun, because that's how it works. AT grenade goes in, and it's fucked. So, uh, yep, looking like a win. Now, 51 VPs left for Zealer. This is a win for CCR versus the number one uh, Soviet player, so that's pretty good. And, um, I guess a testament to the hilarity and power of the KV-8. Uh, I guess it's not terrible against tanks, even though it can't penetrate itself. Um, might be sort of a bit of a counter to a Panzer IV if you utilize it effectively. And uh, obviously it just destroys infantry, so uh, the thing is, this Doctrine, you also get an IS-2. So um, it's not like you're shit out of luck when it comes to fighting tanks if you just go with this Doctrine. Meanwhile, um, I've been seeing this a lot from Soviet players, just tier 1 and then nothing, except Collins. I don't think it's very good, but people have been experimenting with that. I saw Siberian try this with a T-34 Collins. Uh, it didn't work very well, but uh, he tried it. And also the IS-2 sucks, so... That's something to keep in mind, but you still have it, right? It's another option in addition to KVA. You just need a shit ton of CPs. And, uh, man, thank you, CCR, for posting this replay. Uh, you're my favorite. I know you would have posted it even if you lost, but um, it's great to have replays versus ZLR, because ZLR, I guess, probably never even heard of COH2-org, where all the cool kids are posting their replays. If you have a cool replay, post it on COH2.org, and people will ignore it, because you're not ZLR or CCR. But that's okay. Sometimes being ignored is good. I get ignored quite a bit. For example, you're ignoring me right now while you watch uh, this, this mortar do this thing. The people anticipate our victory. They are cannot wait to loot watches from corpses of enemies. Watch out for that tank. What tank? The elephant? Yeah, I probably would watch out for that. But, excellent game. Play back over. Um, my throat feels like it was just attacked by a uh, velociraptor. But 
not a real one, just a small one, a tiny one that I swallowed. Bye!